do is we need to create opportunities for our employees to be able to interact with other employees from different teams and departments. And a great example of a successful company that employs this tactic is Pixar. Now the image you see here is in fact the main lobby area of the Pixar campus. And it was specifically designed by then chairman and CEO Steve Jobs to be one of the common meeting spaces for all of the organization's employees so that it would facilitate these sparks of creativity and inspiration. The idea here being that employees would be encouraged to intermingle so as to be exposed to different ideas, outlooks, and experiences which could then help them to inform the ideas and measures they put into action. For example, uh, a purchasing manager could share stories of things their child said or did that are reflective of the childlike wonder that's become a hallmark of Pixar's most successful films. Or perhaps a computer programmer was able to share a fond childhood memory of exploring this far-off imaginary world that helped to inspire the backdrop used to tell an upcoming story on film. By creating an environment where employees from various departments could connect, communicate, and engage, Pixar's leadership was able to provide their employees with the kinds of insights and experiences that have helped to make their movies so magical and beloved by people of all ages. Indeed, many cite that this interconnected atmosphere that's found in the Pixar workplace as being part of the reason why they continue to create such amazing movies that resonate with both children and adults alike. Likewise, in your organization, it's important that you encourage and facilitate your employees to get outside of their respective groups and teams and engage with others in your organization so they can not only better appreciate the different perspectives and experiences found in your organization, but also how there is this underlying shared purpose that connects and drives your collective efforts.